All right, so this is our drill press. We have three drill presses in the shop, two large ones and, and a smaller one that can be used for doing more detailed things. This is kind of the big one. All right, it has a chuck here, and this chuck is meant to hold the bits. The bits are what does the cutting, and basically we're drilling holes in things. Now, we have several different kinds of bits available. This is a um, cone-shaped bit, so it's basically a twist drill, and it can be used for wood or metal, or plastic for that matter, although it can splinter some plastics. Then we have brad point bits. You can see the difference between these bits. The brad points have a little point in there, and that's meant for helping it get centered in the hole, and they're only for wood and really soft material. So you can't use these on metal. Then we have other drill bits made by a man named Forstner. And these are a whole set of bits which are made for drilling wood and for making a flat bottomed hole. So this can be useful if you're going to put a dowel or a chair leg inside the hole or something like that. So I'm going to demonstrate the difference between this one and the, uh, and the twist drill, so you can kind of see how those work. All right, so all the bits go into the chuck. The chuck slides this way and that way, and you turn it one way to tighten it and the other way to loosen it and remove the bit. So we're turning it this way to tighten it. And then we're going to use a key to finish tightening it. The key slips into the hole, and then these teeth engage, and that turns the top part of the chuck to tighten it. All right, the next thing we're going to do is set the depth. So one of the nice things about a drill press is that you can limit the depth. So you can make the holes only go the same distance every time and not all the way through if you don't want them to go all the way through. We also want to set the table. We're doing that by loosening this lever here. And then we can move it left and right. Make sure that our drill bit is lined up with the hole in the table so we don't accidentally drill through the table. Um, the other thing we're going to do is bring the table up more, bring it closer. And that enables us to put the drill right through there if we need to. Now this here also raises and lowers the height of the blade, I mean the bit. There are two little nuts here that can be used to limit it. So now we're going to limit it so it doesn't go through the table. That's another way of protecting yourself from damaging the drill bit and the table. But also can, you can use it to um, set the height so it doesn't go through or so that it does go all the way through if that's what you want. So we're going to make one hole that goes all the way through so I'm going to bring these Knots back up, set that down there, and then retighten this knob, this lever here, and that will keep the table from moving backwards, sideways, or up and down. All right, because I'm going all the way through, it's a good idea to put some scrap wood underneath. That helps keep this from tearing out on the bottom side. Also, have a clamp that can be used to clamp small pieces down, and I would not recommend trying to hold a small piece in your hand. Never do it if it's metal. This little clamp clamps down, and that clamps everything together. But I can also use a C-clamp and tighten my scrap wood to the table with that. So C-clamps can also be used to 
hold a big piece of wood or something else that you're trying to uh, drill through. All right, so this has different speeds. Usually we want to leave it on this slower speed. And if, uh, if you have to change it for this particular drill press, it has to be changed while it's actually running. So you would turn these knobs while it's running. But please check with me or the lab tech if you think you need to do that. All right, we have our green on, our red off switch. And we've got our safety glasses on. Now it's time to start. So with our little uh, guideline set up here, we don't have to worry about did we go all the way through or not because we already checked that out. We already adjusted it to do that. Now I have a hole on one side and a nice clean hole on the other side because we had this backing behind it to help keep it from tearing. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use a Forster bit so you can see when you might want to do that, why that's different. So we loosen this chuck key, loosen the chuck, remove the blade. And please do that every time when you finish so that the next person doesn't have to do it for you. It's a little stiff today. All right, so you just want to tighten that by hand till the the uh, bit doesn't fall out, and then use the chuck key for the final tightening. If you forget to use the chuck key, your drill bit's going to vibrate out while you're drilling. All right. Also, don't forget to take the chuck key out of the hole and put it away. Don't leave it in there when you start turning the machine on. All right. Now we're going to have to change the height. Take these nuts and bring them up. This is uh, graduated in inches, so you can set it for a specific distance if you want to. Now, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to hold the wood next to it, and I'm going to make this so it only comes down part of the way. I'm going to take that by by holding this right next to it, and then bringing these nuts down. Now I'm able to limit how far this is going. Okay. Take this and put it back in the clamp. Now we're ready to drill. So because I set this stop here, it can't go all the way through. It has to stop at the very bottom. And now you can see the kind of hole that is made by the Forstner bit. So it's got straight parallel sides and a nice flat bottom with just a tiny little hole in there. And then we have the nice smooth and quick hole made by the, um, which would be made by a brad point or a twist drill. Okay. If you see a burned bit there, that probably means somebody used it improperly and it may not be as sharp as it should have been anymore. All right, and then of course, last thing we want to do is remove the drill bit. And put it away. 